We about to do some talking tonight to all the mothers and fathers around the world. We about to do some talking tonight, man. I'm over here sipping. I got my wine. I got me some Chardonnay. I'm about to sip on my, my wine, and we're going to get some good word out here, man. Everybody tune in, tune in, tune in. This is a message for all the mothers and fathers around the world. 2024 has to be different. Twenty twenty four has to be different, guys. Let's get in here. Everybody, get in. Hit that share button. Tap those hearts. Tap those thumbs up. We gotta have a real good conversation tonight, man. We gotta have a real good conversation, right? Let me let me put, see if I can post this in the comments, man. I gotta preach for y'all tonight. I got a sermon for y'all tonight. Twenty twenty four is about to. It's a new year. It's a new year. It's a new day. It's a new year. A new day, guys. It's a new year, a new day, guys. I don't know if y'all let y'all kids raise y'all or y'all raise y'all kids. I don't know. I don't know if y'all tell y'all kids what to do or if y'all kids tell y'all what to do. But we about to have a talk tonight, man. Because these youngins today, boy, they done lost, they done fell and bumped their damn head, ain't they? These kids today have fell and bumped their heads. To all y'all mothers and fathers on here right now, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all better get y'all wine. Y'all better get y'all wine and pull up. The fifth commandment says, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You understand what I'm talking about? Spare the rod, spoil the child. We going wrong. We going wrong, mothers and fathers. Somebody said I drink too much. Oh, my God. I don't know what live streams you be on, shorty. I got one bottle of wine right here, a little small miniature bottle. And I'm a grown man. I weigh I weigh 175 pounds. This could never be too much. Wine is good. If you ain't had no wine, you better go get you some. But you definitely not going to come on here and tell me as a grown man that I'm drinking too much because I definitely don't drink too much. I ain't even never been drunk before in my life. I've never staggered. I've never failed a breathalyzer or none of that in my life. I've never had a DUI, none of that in my life. Ain't no way I'm ever drinking too much. I don't overdo nothing. You understand what I'm talking about? Now, some of y'all came in here and you about to mess the whole message up because you try to come in here and tell me what to do and you can't even tell your kids what to do. You can't even tell your children what to do, but you just came in here and tried to tell me something. This is what I be talking about, man. Focus on the task at hand. Y'all hear what I'm talking to y'all about? How many of y'all right now got kids? How many of y'all mothers and fathers on here got kids? I don't care about nobody's opinions over here. If your opinion ain't on the right thing, spare the rod, spoil the child. Y'all know what the Bible says. If your kids ain't got to respect you, that's cool. If you continue to be the same person for your kids and they disrespect you and they lie on you and stuff like that, that's cool. That's on you. Once you start acting like you grown, you're an adult, you're going to have to handle it with me. I'm sorry. I, I believe in the Bible. I believe in God. Once you old enough to... Become a mother and a father as a child. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. Once you become old enough to, to bear kids and you disrespect your parents, you're going to have to get it how you live. That's just what it is. I don't give a damn what nobody got to say to me. I don't care nothing about it at all. You respect your parents. Spare the rod, spoil the child. If you disrespect your parents, then your days are shorter. We know this. This is real life. The Bible says that. So I don't care how y'all move. I don't care how y'all give it up. That's on y'all. I came in here to speak some realness. We're going to preach today. It might not be as sweet as y'all want it to be. But when your kids get to an age to where they feel like they can disrespect you and lie and all of that stuff, lie on you and all that, it's time to let them figure it out. That's just what it is. And it's up to y'all if y'all want to do that or not. Somebody said, oh, now you believe in God. I've been believing in God since I've been here. I went to church. My grandparents raised me in the church. I ain't never not believed in God. Where, where do these people come from, man? Can y'all please tell me? This is the problem I hate about social media. These people come from everywhere, man. I believe these people come from Mars or something. They just come in here and just type anything, bro. They type anything. And while their whole house is torn apart, and they'll come in here to a man who comes in here with structure, I'm a grown man. I'm going to give you structure every time. If you don't like it, that's fine. I give, I give no fucks. If you don't like this structure that I come on here and preach, I'm preaching exactly what the Bible been telling us for years. That's why this world is out of control now. People just think they can do and say and whatever they want to do. Let me see. Let me let me get on here, man. I, I know I know sons out here. 
I know boys out here that go out here and they get they get women pregnant as young teens. As soon as they get a woman pregnant, they start talking disrespectful to their daddies and their mamas, all type of stuff, man. No kid shouldn't be disrespecting their mama or their daddy. Let's just be clear. This is not a one-sided thing. Let me let me bring this thing up, man. This thing got to be up a little bit higher. Let me bring this thing up some, man. I'm about to go over here and stand up. You about to see y'all gonna see me stand right now for this message. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's talk about it, man. That's one thing about me, man. I was raised to respect my parents. You ain't I ain't never raised my voice at my parents. I ain't never told a lie on my parents. I ain't never did none of that. You dig what I'm talking about? I always been respectful to my parents. That's why I made it to the age that I'm at right now. That's why I'm still standing. That's why I'm still strong. Let me to disrespect my, my, my daddy and my, my grandparents and all that. Man, I wouldn't be here today. We didn't have no internet to get on and get on and, and vent and tell lies on. We didn't have that. You Man, if we got on the internet back when we was growing up, can you imagine? Man, these kids are out of control out here these days. They think just because they can make babies, they think just because they can uh, sneak out and, and jump in somebody's car and go buy alcohol or whatever, they think they grown just because they can go do those type of things. No, that don't make you grown. That makes you stupid. If you decide to do those type of things and you ain't grown yet and you ain't graduated, that makes you stupid. That don't make you smart. You understand what I'm talking about? This is to all those parents that's on here right now that's letting y'all kids do whatever and say whatever the hell they want to say. Bite the hand that feeds you. Doesn't matter if you 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 somebody's kid or not. If you once you start biting the hand that feeds you, you got to figure it out. That's just what it is. That's in any that's in any part of the world that you go to. Ain't gonna be no disrespecting over here. None of y'all. Ain't none of y'all gonna be able to disrespect me. And I'm hoping y'all never disrespected y'all parents, cause that's just it. You don't disrespect your parents. Period. Nobody should be disrespecting their parents. You better love on your parents. I wish my mother was here. I tell you what, if my mother was here and somebody disrespected my mama, it'd be the problem. If somebody disrespect my dad, if one of my brothers or something like that, sisters or anything disrespected my dad, I have a problem. Ain't nobody disrespecting no parents around me. I was not raised that way. Let me see. What y'all talking about on here? So y'all let y'all kids do what, do and say whatever they want, right? Hmm? Is that what y'all do? Let me know. Spare the rise for the child. Some of y'all must don't. Must, I, bet, I guarantee you y'all don't get y'all kids whooping these days. Y'all kids do whatever they want to now, don't they? That's why it ain't no structure in your house. Your kids probably can whoop you, can't they? Mine ain't gonna ever be able to whoop me. Chardonnay, man. It's wine for y'all that's wondering what I'm sipping. Let me see what's going on. You said she said he hit me and now he's in the hospital. Man, I wish my kid, wish one of my kids would raise their hands to hit me. Yeah, these kids out here wilding, man. Social media done made it worse. Social media has made children way worse. And they was bad, you know. Kids have, out, we, we was bad before as kids. We all have been bad before as kids. Now, I ain't never been that bad. Like, I ain't never did none of that. I've never been disrespectful to my parents. But what I do know, some of you guys on here probably can say that you disrespected your parents a time or two. Some of y'all on here probably did. Some of y'all probably done got in fights with your parents. Some of y'all probably have. I ain't never lifted my hands to my parents. Never would. I ain't never cussed my parents. I ain't never said nothing disrespectful to my parents. I never talked back to my parents. I ain't never do none of that. It's not my DNA if you put your hands on my parents. That's a fact. DNA or not, put your hands on me, it's going to be a real problem. It's going to be a problem. You're going to wish you never put your hands on me again. Like for real. You're going to have to figure it out. You got to figure life out. That's law. That's law. That's not no, that's not a threat. That's a promise. I ain't worried about nobody telling no story because any story that's going to ever get told about me by anyone is going to be a lie. I've been a good person my entire life. I don't give a damn about what nobody get on the internet and spout and type. They got to be able to pull up some, some facts behind it because we know what be lies. And if y'all parents, if y'all punk ass parents on here right now worried about somebody telling a lie on y'all, that's on y'all. I don't care nothing about no lies being told no more. I used to care about shit like that. I don't care no more. 
Once you get lied on so much, you don't give a damn no more about none of that. I ain't worried about no false stories being told. That's the problem with a lot of people, man. Y'all be out here worried about what somebody about to lie and say, man, I don't care nothing about no liars. Liars always get exposed. The truth always comes to the light. My name is LaTruth for a reason. That ain't nothing that I'm ever worried about. No more. <laughs> now, we've all had to worry about it. We all have We all have had lies and rumors said about us before in our life. And we over here like, damn, somebody lying again because you got certain people believe. It. Man, I don't give a damn what nobody believe no more. If you believe it, you believe it. Who gives a damn? You ain't in my circle. We don't walk the same path. We ain't on the same mission because I speak nothing but the truth. So if you want to listen to rumors and lies, that's fine. That's less people in my path. The ones who believe the lies and want to go that way, that's fine. The ones who believe me, now I got a shorter list of people that I can communicate with and deal with and help out. I don't care nothing about nobody. If you believe them lies, run run on with the narrative of the lies that was told. Stay over there on that side. Don't think you're going to bring your raggedy ass over here when the truth come out. That's just what it is. I, I don't play about that. I don't care. Who for me is always going to be for me. Can't nobody tarnish my image. Can't nobody stop me from getting money because ain't nobody going to stop what God got for me. I'm going to continue to use this tongue that I got and I'm going to speak the truth forever. That's just what it is. Ain't nobody going to be able to shame it. Ain't nobody going to be able to stop it. Ain't nothing going to be able to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this, is, how I'm, this is how I give it up. 2024, this is how I give it up. Moving forward. I am a God. And if you don't see yourself as a God and a goddess and you don't move in a positive way, if you don't move to help people and enlighten people to fix this structure of what's going on in the world, that's on you. That's on you. But ain't nobody that disrespect me going to get nothing from me, period. I don't care who you is. Anybody who lie on me and disrespect me is not going to get anything from me. They're going to have to figure it out because it doesn't take... It's, it's free to be nice. It's free to tell the truth. It's free to be respectful. Don't cost nothing. So that's a violation. Just like the NBA. When people go to the NBA and they make a mistake on that basketball court, they're getting paid millions of dollars. As soon as they make a mistake, they get fined. They got to pay for that. That's what it is for me. 2024, if you disrespect me, if you lie on me, you're going to have to pay for that. I ain't giving nobody who lies on me and disrespect me a dime. I don't care who you are. If you old enough to open your mouth and know what a lie is and you lie on me, you're cut off. You won't get nothing from me. I'm 2024. That's what it is. Moving forward. I don't care how nobody feel about it. I don't care what nobody think about it. That's how I'm moving, moving forward in 2024. I don't give a fuck who you are. Lie on me. Disrespect me. You're going to get it how you live. You ain't going to be able to ask me for nothing because I ain't doing nothing for nobody that will lie on me. Anybody who will lie on me and disrespect me can never get a nothing from me, period. That's just, that's just what it is. That's facts. I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all. I'm keeping it a buck with y'all. If you old enough to know better. Now, if you my niece, nephews, and my kids, and you ain't old enough to know no better, you start knowing what lying is when you get to the age of eight, nine. If you eight, nine, if you nine years old and you know what a lie is, and you're lying on me, and you're lying to me, and you're disrespecting me, figure it out. You got to figure it out. That's just what it is. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care what nobody got to say. I don't care what nobody got to say. That's just what it is. If that's not how you giving it up, that's on you. That's cool. If you want to let people lie on you, if you want to let people try to destroy you or whatever the case may be, if you want to let people disrespect you, that's on you. That won't be me. That I've lived to, to I'm to an age now where I'm not tolerating no disrespect from nobody. Disrespect me, you will not get nothing from me. You got to deserve that from me. I ain't got to do nothing. That's straight what it is. Straight like that. Once you get to an age to know better, it's a wrap. Take it how you get it. That's just what it is. I don't care about nobody crying in the car. I don't care about nobody crying nowhere. That's just what it is. Be respectful. Tell the truth. You can get whatever you want from me. That's just what it is. You ain't even got to be my seed. You ain't got to be my family. You be respectful. If I got it, you got it. If we rock like that. No, you say who lied on me? Whoever it is. Anybody who lies on me, anybody who disrespects me cannot get nothing from me. That's just what it is. So don't, it ain't no reason to ask me who lied. Whoever it was. It's a lot of people who lie on me. It's a lot of people who lie on you. 
So just know that it's people who lie on you and disrespect you. It's people who lie on me and disrespect me. The people who lie on me and disrespect me can't get shit from me. So if that's not how you carry your life, that's on you. So it's no need to come in here and point no finger. Who is he talking about? Who is he talking about? I'm talking about anybody who's ever lied on me. I'm talking about anybody who disrespects me. They can't get shit from me. If you old enough to know better and you lie on me and disrespect me, you can't get nothing from me. That's just what it is. So no need to ask who I'm talking about. Anybody old enough to know better. Anybody that know what a lie is. Anybody know what disrespecting someone is? I don't give a damn who you are. You can't get nothing from me. So no need to ask who I'm talking about. Anybody old enough. Do I need to say it one more time? I need somebody in the comments to tell me what I said. I need somebody in the comments to tell me what I said. Anyone that comes into my life who's old enough to know what a lie is. If you lie on me, if you disrespect me, you won't get nothing from me. No need to ask who. Now pick up your Bible and read it. Pick up your Bible and read it. To so all those church goers, y'all ones that want to come in here and act like y'all Christians and all that. If y'all don't know what's going on, y'all just ain't going to never know what's going on. Take it like that. I done said what I said and I stand on it. I stand on it 100%. I stand on it. I stand on it just like I'm standing on my damn furniture. This is how I stand on it. This is how I stand on it. And can't nobody do nothing to me. Can't nobody tell me shit. I paid the cost to be the boss. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You understand what I'm talking about? Can't no, ain't nobody ever been able to tell me nothing. Since I was 16 years old, I've been on my own. Getting it how I live. Getting it on my own. Being respectful. Not lying on nobody. Not cheating. Not stealing. I ain't been doing none of that. I get my money the legal way. And I get my money by being respectful. So if a motherfucker ain't being respectful for me, they can't get nothing from me. Straight like that. I don't care about none of that. If you old enough to know better, you better do better. Now, if that's not how you carry it, I ain't mad at you. You dig what I'm saying? I can't control nobody else. However y'all want to carry it, that's how y'all carry it. Now, I said what I said. So anybody sliding my DMs with weird shit, it's no point. It's no point. No point. No point in sliding in my DMs. No, no point in sliding in my comments. You just, you just, you making me make more money when you comment. Even if your opinion is, is against what I'm saying. No one gives a fuck. I need to speak with you, please. Come on, man. How, how is that even possible? How is that possible? I stand on business. I stand on truth. That's all I stand on. You can't control or you can't control nobody, people. You cannot, you have no control over nobody. They control themselves. That's period. Everybody. You said I almost fell. Man, I can jump across my couch. I can jump, I can climb up to the top of that ceiling like Spider-Man if I chose to. What did, what do you mean I almost fell? Because you seen me unbalanced? Yeah, I was, I was, I was leaning and rocking with it a little bit. Yeah, I was leaning and rocking with it just a little bit. I was leaning and rocking with it just a little bit. Hey, I promise you this. When, when, when people come in here and say I'm lying, bro, I just let y'all have it. I got proof. I can back anything that I've ever said. I got, I got everything I need to back anything I've ever said. I don't come on here and just, I don't come on here and spot out nothing. I'm grown. Y'all got to understand that I'm a grown man. I don't, I don't do the lying. I don't do that. That's, that's a female trait. A lot of y'all women on here, y'all might tell lies because that's who I see saying it the most. There'd be a lot of women coming on here talking about some lying shit. I'm a real man. I don't have to lie. Most men do not lie as much as women. We know this already. This is what women do. Women do a lot of lying. I'm not going to say, I'm not saying it's not a lie, like, I'm not saying men don't lie because men lie too. But men lie about things like cheating and shit like that. They don't lie about regular stupid shit, like little stupid stuff. What, what's somebody going to do? Now men lie about cheating because they don't want to lose the damn woman that they with. That's why they lie about it. Same thing with women. When women lie to men about them cheating because they don't want to lose the man. see you said i don't blame you man who can blame me you can't blame you can't blame somebody who real and who tell the truth i speak the truth daily man i can give a fuck if somebody get mad if a person don't if, if you don't like me for speaking the truth that's cool you're gonna free up the space for the ones who do like me i can't i'm not can't be for everybody 
I don't want to be for everybody. I'm glad that when I speak the truth, there's some people that don't fuck with me. I'm cool with that because I ain't got time to fuck with everybody. I don't have that type of time. You say your house is so nice and clean. I appreciate it, man. You know, I got to make sure my house is clean. You're a motivational speaker. Appreciate it, man. That's what I, I get on here and speak the truth. That's what I do. I get on here and speak the truth. I don't expect everybody to agree with me because everybody come from different walks of life. You understand what I'm talking about? And I told y'all before, everybody was raised different. Some people was raised to be able to disrespect their parents and they got away with that shit and that's cool. I wasn't raised that way, so ain't nobody going to disrespect me. So we different. So to the people who believe that it's okay for a kid or a brother or sister or uncle or anybody to disrespect somebody, if that's what you believe in, then that's what you believe in. I don't believe it. Ain't nobody going to disrespect me and get no good treatment. They're going to be right over there until they figure it out. They're going to apologize, and they're going to be respectful just like the Bible says. That's what they're going to do. Because I don't disrespect nobody. Ain't nobody going to disrespect me because I don't disrespect nobody else. Don't none of y'all tell me what the fuck to do. So we all know that. And some of y'all learn these words like narcissist, man, and y'all don't know nothing else. I know you dropped out of high school, Stephanie. You come over here talking about narcissistic and narcissists and stuff like that. We know you didn't graduate. We know you didn't graduate school. Y'all learn one word and don't even go look up and do research on it. If you start doing research on these words, you'll realize that when you call somebody a narcissist or something, it's really you that's the narcissist. Go look it up. I don't think y'all even pay attention to what narcissists mean. It damn sure ain't me. Hey, I know I'm speaking facts. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Some women are really messed up, man. And I, and I pray for them, for the ones that's just really messed up and they don't know no better, man. I really do. I really do, man. I really do. I pray for them, man. Some people got to really think outside of the box. I love listening to you. I agree with you on this part. Honor your mother and your father. I mean, come on, man. Of course, we know that. Facts, preach, Pastor the truth, man. I'm on here. Hey, I'm just speaking the truth, bro. That's all I'm. When you speak the truth, it is preaching. I can't even lie to you. We still love you. What you do with your kids is your business. You are a good dad and a great man and a hard worker for all you got. For sure. I already know that. Thank you so much, though. Appreciate you for acknowledging it. I've been putting, putting work in my entire life, man. You can be as good as you can be as good to people as you want to be to them. If they don't accept it, that's just what it is. Dead ass. I see people out here who got uh, people who don't care nothing about them and they respect them. What I've noticed in life, man, is people respect more the people who don't do nothing for them. That's who they respect the most. That's something that y'all gonna learn in life too. The more you there for a person, a lot of times the least they respect you, and that's sad. It's sad that the more you there for certain people, the least they respect you. When you're not for them, when you're not there for them, they actually respect you. That's sad. That's sick as fuck. Like I don't understand that mentality. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. How many of y'all been there for somebody and they have no respect for you? And then the people that you was not there for respect you. How many of y'all? The less you give, the more they love you and respect you. The more you give, the less they love and respect you. That's sick. That's sick behavior to me, man. I never understood that. I never understood that. People who do the most get their heart broken the most. Trust me. People who are there the most for their children and friends and family and all of that, they get their heart broken the most. Straight up. And that's the ones who get disrespected, used, all of that shit. Y'all know that. To anybody who's a good person, y'all know y'all done been through it. That's just what it is, and it's sad. You got to pull back for a motherfucker to respect you. You got to stop doing. You got to stop giving just for a motherfucker to respect you. That's sad. Why is it like that? This, that's why I told you the world is weird. People are weird. You're supposed to respect them people who've been there for you. People who have always had your back, been there for you, you're supposed to love and respect them people. Straight up. People out here respecting people who ain't did a damn thing for them. People respect people who mean to them. Toxic. That's exactly what it is, man. I don't understand that shit. I know so many people like that. It's sad. 
some of y'all just coming in here very, very, very troll. Y'all just troll like hell, man, and y'all don't get no benefit from it. Trolling gets me paid, so I appreciate you. Come on in and troll. I don't give a damn about no negative comments. That don't bother me none. I told you, you do not have to agree, but you here, so you're going to have to listen. You came here to sit down and partake in this live stream. You listening. You here. You still got to listen, regardless if you agree or not. You here. So if you say something negative, appreciate it. That's all I'm going to say. Cash out, run to the bank with it. It's cool. I ain't tripping about none of that shit. Like, y'all be thinking that shit going to work. That don't work. That don't work on people like myself. You telling lies still get me paid. <laughs> I don't think you understand that. Whether you come on here in defense, offense, if you came on here to be not negative, you came on here to be positive, regardless, I'm still going to get paid for it. You dig what I'm saying? So you, be you better off just being real. Get your blessings. Be honest. When I tell you God got me, God got me. That's a fact. I ain't got to go back. I ain't got to go back and forth with every lie that's been told. None of that. I'm going to come over here and speak the truth, and I'm going to log the fuck off. Truth always comes to the light. Drink my little Chardonnay that I got right here. Happy New Year. 2024 is different, like I told you before. 2024, if you disrespect me or lie on me, you are cut off. Straight like that. Straight like that. I don't give a damn about who you is. If you old enough to understand what a lie is and you lie on me, if you old enough to understand what disrespect is and you disrespect me, you're cut off. Straight like that. Don't give a damn about how nobody feel about it. Can't nobody do shit about it. That's just what it is. That's life. So you better figure it out. To anybody, that, in, anybody in the world, before they think about lying on me and disrespecting me, you better really think hard about it. What's going to happen? I've been on my own since I was 16 years old. I've done fine. I've done well. I've done well. And I, re I remain positive. I, I do stuff the legal way. I don't commit crimes. I've done well. And I'm going to continue to do well. Because I'm going to continue to be positive. I'm going to continue to speak the truth. Ain't nobody going to be able to stop it. Doesn't matter how much you rally against me or try. It's not going to happen. And I need you to know that. Anybody out here who's going through something right now, as long as you continue to be positive, you're going to continue to keep winning. You can do all you want for a person. They don't give a fuck. Just keeping it on. That's a f I mean, I just said that. That's a fact. I just told y'all, the more you do for a person, the less they respect you the more they feel entitled. I go over and beyond for my loved ones. For people that's been in my life, I go over and beyond. I got a huge heart. But once you disrespect me in 2024, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. Straight like that. That's just it. That's my New Year's fucking resolution. Disrespect me, lie on me. It's a fact. It's over with. It's a wrap. Straight like that. 2024, that's it. That's, that's how I'm giving it up. So let's toast. Let's toast to it. Chardonnay in a little bottle right here. Let's go. I love how you telling them and not letting them tell you down. Man, can't nobody tell me down because they didn't build me up. This is the, the crazy thing is people who didn't build you up that think they can tear you down. You didn't build me up. How you going to break something you didn't build? Like, that's the weirdest stuff ever, man. I've never understood that with people. How you think you going to break something you didn't build to anybody out there that's out here trying to break somebody down? You can't break something you didn't build. You, did, you can't destroy something you ain't fucking birthed. You can't do, ain't nothing you're going to be able to do. You're just bumping them gums. All you're doing to anybody out here trying to think they can destroy somebody that they didn't build up, you are sadly mistaken. It's never going to work. You ain't built for that. God is the only one that can do that. Ain't no human about to break down nothing they didn't build up. It don't matter how many lies get told. Don't matter about nothing that you're doing. You can't stop what you ain't built. Straight like that. Everything ain't repairable, um, Stefan Don. Stefan Don, everything is not repairable. You can't... 
You can't repair shit with some people. Some people is just ain't nothing you can really do. You just got to go on your own separate ways. It ain't nothing you can do. It's a lot of people out here like that. I love your energy and your positivity. I appreciate it, man. I wish everybody nothing but the best. Even for the person who, if a person want to disrespect me and lie on me, I wish them nothing but the best. I mean, everybody jump in that water sometime. You got to know how to swim, though. That's just what it is. If you don't know how to swim, don't jump in that water. That's to, to whoever, need, whoever that may concern. If you don't know how to swim, don't jump off the bridge in the water. Happy New Year's to everybody on here, man. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate that. A lot of y'all burning bridges with people right now and you can't swim. You're going to try to figure out how to get back to that. Nah, you ain't going to be able to get that. Somebody been crying. Who been crying? Who been crying? Who been crying? Somebody said somebody been crying. Do my eyes look like I've been crying, y'all? Because they red, they're a little red. I'm a little sleepy, that's about it. I damn sure ain't been crying. That's for sure. I ain't been crying. If I had been crying, I'd let you know. I don't come on. I don't come online for sympathy or none of that. I come on here to speak the truth to y'all, say what I need to say. Whatever you take with you, you take with you. If you don't take it, that's cool. Whatever y'all want to talk about when I get off here, whatever you want to talk about, it don't matter. Like think about people. They think they can say certain things and it make it true because they say it. Man, you can say whatever you want to say. Shit still be false. If I ain't said it, it ain't true. Just know that. I don't care nothing about what nobody else got going on when it comes to ex-girlfriends and all that too. So please don't come on here telling me about nobody else's business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Once I move on, my business is mine. Theirs is theirs. Please don't do not share with me nothing that nobody else's business got going on. Any relationship that I've been in that y'all have seen publicly or any of that, I swear, I do not want to know about nothing that they got going on. My, my life is my life. I, I, once I move on, I'm focused. I'm hard focused on what I got to do. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not focused on nobody else's relationships, none of that. So please don't come on my platform talking about no dumb shit. That's not entertaining to me. I, I could care less about what somebody else's relationship is. If I'm friends with you, if we we talk to each other on a daily basis, shit like that, that's different. If you you got some advice from me, you need some advice from me or something like that, I got you. But when it comes to me, whatever I move on from, I don't want to know about it. Like, I see y'all sending me DMs and shit 24-7. Stop sending them to me. That's how. That's what's going to get y'all blocked. I don't care about none of that shit. That shit don't mean nothing to me. Like, seriously, please, when you come to my platform, it's the LaTrue show over here. It's, it's the LaTrue show. Robert Hampton show. That's it over here. That's all I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about nobody else's business. Other relationships that ain't got shit to do with me, I don't care nothing about. None of that. Please, please, let's be adults in here, people. Some of y'all speaking about shit from months ago and weeks ago and all that weird ass shit. And stop talking about children shit too. Like, I feel like children should be off limits. Anything that's pertaining to a child should be off limits. Please don't come to my platform talking about nothing about no kids, bro. Like, that's disrespectful. I would never go to y'all platforms talking about y'all children. Like, seriously. If it ain't prayers up, if it ain't something positive, don't bring it to my platform. Like, at this point, you're showing that you seem like you're a kid or something. You mentally unstable at this point. No one goes out their way to come to a person's platform to talk about their children in any type of negative way at all. If it ain't, I'm praying for you and your children. Don't fucking come to my platform and say nothing to me about it. Because at this point, I'm seeing that you actually come in here on some monkey shit. And I ain't got time for it. I'm a human being over here. It's grown man business over here. It's nothing but truth over here. Real father gang over here. So if you're going to come over here and talk about something dealing with some children and it ain't positive, please. Do me the biggest favor, stay the fuck over here on your platform with that nonsense, because that ain't what we do over here on this side. It's positivity over here. You dig what I'm saying? I'm coming over here preaching about structure today. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, if you choose to still be cool with people who disrespect you and lie on you, then you good. It's, you can do what you want to do. I'm just not allowing that shit in my life. You understand what I'm talking about? I cut that shit off at the front door of my life. I don't deal with none of that. That's just what it is. I'm a grown ass man over here on this side. So any negativity, check that shit at the door before you get blocked off my platform. Because I'm going to go through my comments later. I'm going to go through my comments later. And anybody came over here on some bullshit, I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Straight like that. 2024 is a different year. 
if my language offends you, unfollow me. Straight line. I'm a grown ass man over here. I give it up how I want to give it up. I'm passionate. So if you hear me using some language that you don't like, unsubscribe. No one told you. Nobody's force feeding you to do nothing. If you don't like the real, if you don't like the truth, kick rocks. Straight like that. That's just what it's about. Ain't no kid games over here. You don't see me over here playing no fucking Tetris or none of that. This is real. This is adult shit going on over here. If you, if you want to let people disrespect you and lie on you in 2024 and you continue to still give them money and do all type of shit, then you do that. That ain't what I'm doing over here. That's not what I'm doing. Not for my life. You do what you do for your life. And I ain't going to judge you for it. So you damn sure ain't going to be able to judge me. So whatever you say to me, it's, it's cool. I see it. But I continue to keep scrolling by and I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Like I've been doing since I was 16 years old. Make it make sense. What what we doing? What we doing? People, hey, Renisha Baker, they be worried about the wrong shit. That's what I'm saying. People be on here worried about the wrong shit. You worried about who? Worry about who disrespecting you and you allowing and you giving passes to. You worry about that. Cause a lot of y'all worse than me. Y'all be on here cussing people out and all type of shit. Y'all be on here cussing people out and all type of shit. My self-control level is very high. Ain't nothing now one of y'all going to be able to do to say it's gonna, it ain't going to make or break me. I'm going to continue to get up and do what I got to do every day. I got a plan. Somebody said in Jesus sandals. I got a plan. I got a plan. Please know I'm not sidetracked by nothing. 2024 is about to be my biggest year ever. And I done had a lot of big years. 2024 about to be my biggest year ever. Shout out to Chardonnay, man. I got my new wine coming out real soon. Y'all stay tuned. I like Chardonnay, though. Yeah, this live for grown folks, Shay. But you got to understand, man, some of these people are older than me and they act like children. So it's like when we say grown folks, what we mean by grown folks at, at this point? Because, man, what I understand now, people can be 50, 60 years old and they still not grown. We got to stop thinking that just because a person is over the age of 21 that they're grown because they're not. Mentally, they're challenged like a motherfucker. Licking the windows and shit. You dig what I'm talking about? Everybody over 21 is not grown, man. Let's stop. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. We got to stop thinking that everybody over 21 is grown. No, trust me. I've seen a lot lately. It's people way older than me who act like they 15 years old, bro. Like straight up. Now, I'm going to give my daughter some credit. My daughter actually act older than a lot of these people. My daughter, I got a 16-year-old daughter who act more grown than some of these people that be in my fucking comments. I'm going I'm to keep it a buck. You the best, bro. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, some people just don't, they, they not mature. I think some of these people play video games their entire life and still playing video games. Like At some point, you got to be welcome to the real world. Like, I've been on my own six, since I was 16, so I was forced to grow up. I was forced to grow up and see what's going on out here in the world and understand right from wrong. That's why I'm not in jail. That's why I'm not out here on no criminal behavior. Some of these folks take medicine, man. Some of the medicine they taking, man, I, wouldn't even, I couldn't even look at the medicine. It's so strong. You understand what I'm talking about? You got to understand that some of these people that you get on this internet and go back and forth with, they're not on the same mental level as you. So you can't waste your energy. That's why I don't get on here and get upset. Like, I don't get upset with people. I don't know what the fuck they got in their medicine cabinets. That shit right there that they got that was prescribed for them tells me that we can never have a mature conversation. You understand what I'm talking about? Some people are not on the same intellect level. And that's just what it is. So stop wasting your time trying to go back and forth with people. Some of these grown-ass women are still playing with baby dolls. You can't have no conversation with these people, man. Y'all be over there maddening y'all feelings over what somebody typed down and half of them can't even type. They speaking into their phone to get the words spelled out right. Y'all better stop going back and forth with these people, man. Y'all gonna be losing y'all sleep with these motherfuckers, man. Straight up. Trust me. Some of these people, you can't have a conversation, you can't have an intelligent conversation with them on the outside. 
damn social media on the outside. You can't even have a conversation with them. So y'all better stop letting these people on social media get up under your skin. Shit, I come on here, I work. I'm an entertainer. I come on here to work and talk to my people, motivate as many people as I can. That's it, that's all. You know what I'm saying? I come on here to help people. That's it, that's all. I get the hell on. I ain't, I ain't no way I'm losing no sleep over what nobody's saying I don't know on these apps, man. They be typing some old bullshit. They got to use a spell checker to get it right. I ain't, ain't no fucking way I'm going back and forth with a motherfucker who didn't graduate high school. Ain't no fucking way. Of course they don't understand what I'm saying. Of course, of course they say some negative ass shit. They don't have, they're not on the same level I'm on. I'm not about to sit there and go back and forth, man. That's just like me sitting in front of a class trying to teach some of y'all motherfuckers and y'all didn't even graduate middle school. Ain't no damn way I'm wasting my time on that shit. Y'all not about to have me over here about to have a heart attack trying to teach you some shit and y'all hard of hearing, don't want to listen. Ain't no damn way I'm going back and forth with a motherfucker who didn't graduate kindergarten. Ain't no damn way. Y'all got the wrong person right now. Y'all better start thinking about this shit. I be seeing some of y'all going back and forth with people in these comments. Man, they are not on the same education level as you. Half of them don't even know what H2O is. Some of them don't even know what 2 plus 2 is. And you still going back and forth with them? Man, you better stop. These are idiots. Do not let these people take you out of character. Because I'll be damn, ain't now one of y'all motherfuckers going to be able to take me out of character. My education level is way higher. I made a 3.5 when I was in high school. Some of y'all made 1.2s. Get the fuck up out of here, man. You think I'm about to listen to y'all? You don't agree with me? I don't expect you to. You're not on the same education level with me. You can't even say your ABCs backwards or forward. Ain't no way I'm about to sit here and go back and forth with some of y'all. Ain't no way I'm about to sit here and go back and forth with some of y'all. Ain't no damn way. Y'all don't know what 6 plus 6 is, and everybody know that's 36. Except for some of you dummies in here. I ain't no way I'm about to. I ain't losing no sleep behind none of that shit, man. Y'all be on here typing the most negative stuff ever, man. Ain't no way. We're not on the same level. We're not on the same level. Ain't nobody on here bragging about no money. Ain't nobody on here bragging about no followers. I'm on here talking about intelligence. And some people's mental just not the same. Some of y'all got to go get checked out. It's okay to get therapy. Some of y'all have to go get some therapy. It's just what it is. Some of y'all got to go get some therapy. Y'all mental is messed up because you haven't dealt with what you needed to deal with whenever you went through whatever you went through when you was a kid, when you was a teenager, whatever the case it was. Whatever that was that happened to you at that young age, you're still in that young age until you fix it. I need people to understand that mental illness is serious. Some of y'all are struggling with shit that you went through when you was young and you never got over it. You never got fixed. Go get fixed so you can operate outside of that age or whatever happened to you because some of y'all are still 12 years old right now in a 50-year-old body. I'm giving y'all some real shit. A lot of people don't do research on mental health. It's a lot of people still struggling right now because you have not got fixed. But whatever traumas happened to you when you was 12 years old, you're 50 now. You're 50. You're 40. Go get the help that you need so you can tap out of that shit and you can become some assistance and help me get it right because I'm trying to get it right. I can't do this shit by myself. I'm sick of being the only one going live every day trying to teach something. I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. Somebody else got to be smarter than that. I can't do this shit by myself. I've been asking for help for the longest. Somebody help me get this message out here, bro. This world is falling apart. Ain't no damn way it's that many dummies running around. Ain't no damn way. I refuse to believe that. Go get your traumas fixed. Then you can start operating on a different intellectual level. Straight up. At some point, sometimes, some people don't even need therapy. Some people heal on their own. Some people realize, okay, I'm 50 years old. Why the fuck am I still worrying about what happened to me when I was 12? Some people just automatically tap into it. Like, at this point, it's time to tap into it. Like, what, what, what are we doing at this point? We got to give these therapists all the damn credit. Some of this stuff you can do on your own. Some of this stuff you can fix on your own. Sometimes you got to just sit back and have a talk with yourself, a conversation with yourself. Sometimes you got to go to that person that put you through that trauma when you was young and talk to them. Figure out what's going on. Apologize and move on so you can live a better life. Because it's time. I'm sick and tired of seeing people still holding on to shit. It's time to let shit go, man. It's time to let that shit die and become a better person. 2024, if you ain't ready to do that, man, I don't understand what's going on, man. We can't, we can't prevent what happened to us back in the day, bro. Anything that's happened to us back in the day, we can't prevent it, man. It's nothing we can do now. It happened. Let's go. We, we got to figure out a way to forgive that person and move the fuck on. I'm not telling you got to go back and be friends with them, whoever it is. For, like, forgive it and move the hell on, man. People still stuck. It's 2024. It's time to get unstuck. And if you can't get unstuck yourself, go get the help that you need. It's out there.
It's out there. People spending money on cheeseburgers and stuff every day. You spending money on things you don't need every day. Take that money, save it up, go get the therapy that you need if you can't heal from whatever it is on your own. Simple as that, man. 2024 moving forward, man. It's time to fix it, man. It's time to change, bro. Too many people stuck in the past, man. Straight up. I want to see everybody win, man. We got to deal with that shit. Whatever those traumas were, man, it's time to forgive and move on. Straight up. I'm telling y'all right now, as people 50 and 60 years old still operating from a 12-year-old's mental. Straight up. If you ain't never talked to a therapist, you don't know. If you ain't never talked to a psychiatrist, you don't know that. This is real. Mental health is real. I don't know. Somebody don't. Some, a lot of people don't tell people this. Man, this is real talk. You got to do some research. Some of y'all are operating from that same body. Whatever age it was that the trauma happened, you're still that age. You're still acting like a 12-year-old every time something happened. Every time you emotionally go through something, you're still acting like a 12-year-old. You got to go fix what happened. It's time to forgive. It's time to move on. It's time to become a grown adult. It's time to understand that you have to, you have to handle your emotions a lot differently. Too many people are acting off emotions and you're ruining everything. You're tearing down everything. Everybody that's sent to you that's supposed to be there on your journey to help you, you're turning them away. You're tearing them down. You need to heal, period. There's too many people out here like that. Heal, heal, heal. I'm telling you something that would have costed you a lot of money. I'm giving you free game. You ain't got to pay me nothing. I'm giving you free game. Deal with it. It's over with. Ain't nothing we can do about the past. We got to start from now. If you're still thinking about the past, go back, fix it. Apo ask for an apology. If they don't give it, at least you tried to ask for the apology. Whatever the trauma is, we got to deal with that shit and move on, man. Straight up. That's the problem with our world right now. Everybody's still holding on to past traumas. And some people holding on to past traumas that happened over 20 and 30 years ago. Come on, man. At some point, it's time to wake up and say, you know what? That was 30 years ago. It's 2024 now. That was 30 years ago. How am I going to let something that happened 30 years ago control my movement right now? It's 2024. It's 2024 and you're still stuck. I'm praying everybody go heal from their traumas. I'm praying everybody go back and forgive whatever happened to them in the past. Forgive and move on. I ain't saying forget nothing, but forgive and move on. I want to see people be happy. I'm happy. Whether what y'all see looks like happiness or not, I move, come and go as I please. I do what the hell I want to do. My happiness might not look how y'all want it to look, but I'm happy. So in order for you guys to be happy, you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to look that monster directly in the face. Whatever that trauma was that caused you to be who you are right now, you got to go and forgive. And you got to forget. Now, you ain't got to forget, obviously. But you got to forgive. And you got to move the fuck on and understand this is 2024. What happened to you back in 1974? What happened to you in 1955? You can't change that shit. It ain't no way. You can't change it. So you just got to go and forgive, let that shit go, and move on, man. Period. That's it. That's all, that's all. That's it. I pray for everybody. I need everybody in here to pray for everybody, man. Send a prayer out to everybody, man. Our world is struggling right now. Bad. I don't like what it's looking like. And I can't be the only one that's looking at it like this. No structure. Where is the structure? Structure is gone. Where's the structure now? People just do whatever the hell they want to. Kids even do what the hell they want to now. Where's the structure? Can y'all imagine? I want y'all to I want y'all to think about this. It's 2024. Some of us won't be here 20 years from now to see what's going on. Some of us will not be here. But guess who will be here? A lot of your kids will be here. My kids will be here 20 years from now. I don't like what this world look like it's going to be like for my kids 20 years from now, 30 years from now. Can you imagine? To all of y'all out here making babies right now currently, to the youngins out here making babies right now currently, can you imagine what this world is going to look like for them 
in 30 years. It starts with us. It starts with us. Structure starts with us. Everything else starts with us. Dealing with our trauma starts with us. Y'all think for now. It's too many people who selfish. All y'all think for is now. This is bigger than now. When I get on here and talk, I don't talk for me. I talk for us. I talk for us as a whole nation, as a community. What this world look like 30 years from now? Have you even thought about that? When you're dead and gone, have you ever thought about what this world is going to look like for your grandkids? But y'all sit here and co-sign bad behavior 24-7. Y'all are adults. And, and, and at some point, I'm starting to feel like old people just hating. I'm starting to feel like older people are hating because y'all condoning bad behavior. You are sitting back condoning it, cheering it on. As an adult, as, as a person who knows better, you're sitting back and cheering on bad behavior on public platforms. At this point, I'm starting to think you don't give a fuck about your grandkids and what their life is going to look like. At this point, you sitting on here condoning bad behavior 24-7. But you telling me you want to see a better future for your grandkids and your grandkids' grandkids? Do you not know what this is going to look like? You're condoning bad behavior. Who's teaching these days now? Who's teaching? Because ain't no kids about to teach me nothing. They can't teach me nothing. They don't know nothing. The shit they trying to teach is going to tear the whole world apart. Ain't no way I'm about to let no kids teach me. And I'm sitting here watching y'all as adults. Y'all letting the kids teach y'all. Y'all condoning behavior from the kids. And you see it's nothing but destruction. Yeah, you right. You go ahead. You Man, get up out of here. It's not right. And you got to start being honest and saying it's not right. I can't be the only person that's the truth. I can't be the only one speaking the truth. I need some help. Can we get some more people going live and speaking the truth? Can we? Can we? I can't do this shit by myself. I've never said that I could do this, but I can't change the world by myself. I can't fix the problems that's going on in the world by myself. I can't do it. That's why I tell y'all every day, like my post, share my post, at least make my voice big enough so when I do speak, more people can hear it. That's all I ask. If ain't nobody gonna help me. Again, like I said before, 2024, I already told y'all what it is with me. My motto is, if you old enough to know what a lie is and what a lie can cause, if you disrespectful, if you old enough to be able to know what disrespect means and you disrespect me or lie on me, it's a wrap for you. You're going to have to figure it out. Don't ask me for nothing. And I'm going to end it on that note. It's your boy, The Truth, man. I'm going to holler, man. Y'all be blessed.